Welcome. In this lecture, we will try to calculate the Z parameters for this given network. This particular configuration is termed as the T bridge configuration because it is having the T shape and this particular resistance is bridging this. So it, this particular configuration is termed as the T bridge configuration and we are required to find out the Z parameters for this. Again, we will use the physical conditions to calculate the Z parameters. Let us see what are Z parameters. Z parameters are Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. These two parameters are calculated by open circuiting the port 2 and these two particular two are calculated by open circuiting the port 1. So we will apply the first condition that is open circuiting the open circuit the port 2 port 2 to calculate Z11 and Z12. So Z11 will be the ratio of V1 divided by I1 and similarly Z21 will be the ratio of V2 divided by I1. Now we have this circuit when we open circuit the port 2 we will open circuit the port 2 that means we are making I2 to be 0. We are making out I2 to be 0 when we apply a voltage V1 here it will cause a current I1 to flow into it. This I1 current after this point will get divided into let me say I3 and I4 here. This I4 will pass through this 3 ohm resistance and will come down to this point and at this point it will shift to this side. It will move to this side. This will be current I4 as it is the open circuit. There is no current. There will be no current flowing into these terminals. So this I4 will pass through it. I3 is coming from it. They will meet again at this junction and they, they will make the current I1 once again because I3 and I4 are because of this, this current I1. So the current flowing into the 5 ohm resistance it will be I1. Now we have this circuit. We know what are the currents and uh, voltages across the terminals. Uh, let me also say, mark the voltage appearing across these two terminals will be V2. Okay. Now we are required to find out Z11 which is V1 divided by I1 and Z21 which is V2 divided by I2. First we will try to calculate the parameters which belong to similar port like this one. Here V1 and I1 both are related to the port 1 and they can be calculated by seeing the impedance or the resistance offered by the network from the port 1. That is we will try to calculate RT1 which is the resistance offered by the circuit seen from the port 1. So Z11 will be equal to RT1 and as we can see uh, this I4 current is flowing into this 3 ohm resistance as well as in 2 ohm resistance that means uh, this, uh, uh, this 3 ohm and 2 ohm will be in series and their combination will be in parallel with I1 and the whole com uh, combination of these resistances will be in series with this 5 ohm. So RT1 can be written as 3 plus 2 that because these two are in series and their combination is in parallel with the 1 ohm resistance and their whole combination is now in series with 5 ohm resistance. So if we solve this we will get Z11. Let us solve it. We get 5 parallel 1 plus 5. 5 parallel 1 can be solved as 5 into 1 divided by 5 plus 1 plus 5. This will be 5 by 6 plus 5 and if I solve it I will get 35 divided by 6 ohms. As it is resistance it will be ohm. So this is Z11. This is the value of Z11 which is equal to V1 divided by I1. By, by simply calculating the impedance offered from the port 1 by the network we can calculate Z11. Okay, uh, let us calculate Z uh, Z21. It should it is V2 divided by I1. Uh, that means to calculate this parameter, we need to calculate or we need to find out the relation between V2 and I1. Let us see what is V2. V2 is the voltage drop across these two terminals. And if I follow this loop, this particular loop, then I can write an expression for V2. 
so in this particular loop i can write v2 to be equal to v2 to be equal to 5 times of i1 following this 5 times of i1 plus 2 times 2 times of i4 this particular equation is giving me the relation between v2 and i1 but there is i4 again I need to remove out this or eliminate this i4 or uh, write i4 in terms of i1. Let us see once again what is i4. i4 is the current formed after the division of i1 at this particular node. So that means to calculate i4 I can apply current divider rule. Applying current divider rule. Applying current divider rule I can write i4 to be equal to I1 times if I am calculating the current in this branch I need to multiply I1 with the uh, resistance in the parallel branch so I will multiply I1 with 1 and whole divided by all the resistances which are connected in parallel so the resistance which are connected in parallel is 1 plus 5 so it will be I1 divided by 6 so I have now I4 in terms of I1 I will substitute the value of I4 in this particular equation and I will get 5 times of I1 plus I1 by 6 into 2 into 2 and after solving I will get this as 16 by 3 I1 so now I have V2 to be equal to 16 by 3 I1 and if I divide I1 with this V2 I will get V2 divided by I1 to be equal to 16 by 3 this will be again in ohms and this is nothing but Z21 parameter this is how we calculated Z11 and Z21 let me remind you once again as Z11 is belonging to the port 1 only both the parameters that is V1 and I1 are related to the port 1 only so we can calculate it by calculating the resistance offered by this circuit seen from the port 1 terminal and to calculate Z21 we have to find out a relation between V2 and I1 I wrote the KVL equation for V2 in this particular loop and substituted all the uh, other parameters into I1 so that I can form a relation relating equation between V2 and I1. This will give me uh, Z21 which will be 16 by 3 ohms. Okay, now to calculate the other two parameters Z11 and Z22, we need to open circuit the port 1 and supply the energy from the second terminal, uh, second port. So let us redraw the circuit and try to uh, redraw uh, uh, the currents flowing into the circuit. Let me erase it. This time the current will be flowing from this time the current will be flowing from the secondary terminal. So we apply a voltage plus uh, plus minus V2 here. This will cause a current I2 to flow into it this I2 current will get divided at this particular node into I5 and say I6 here I5 fly I five after passing through 3 ohm will come back to this point because this terminal these terminals are now open circuited there, there will be no current flow that is I1 will be 0. So I5 will flow from uh, 3 ohm to, to 1 ohm and then will enter into 5 ohm to complete the circuit. Similarly this I6 will flow from 2 ohm will now enter into 5 ohm and this way I5 and I6 will recombine in this branch and will make I2 here and will complete the circuit like this. Okay. Now to calculate uh, Z22, Z22 will be I should write it here Z22 will be the ratio of V2 divided by I2 again in this both the parameters are related to port 2 that means to calculate them uh, we need to calculate the resistance offered by the circuit seen from the 
port 2. So while seeing the resistance from the port 2, we should see uh, what is the possible combination now. Uh, we can see the I5 current is flowing into 3 ohm as well as in 1 ohm. That means this 3 ohm and 1 ohm now are in series and uh, the combination of these two resistances is in parallel with this 2 ohm resistance and this whole combination comes in series with this 5 ohm resistance. So Z22 will be equal to the resistance seen from the second terminals, uh, secondary port and this will be equal to the 3 plus 1 the series combination of 3 and 1 in parallel with the 2 ohm resistance and this whole in series with the 5 ohm resistance. If I calculate it, it will come out to be 4 parallel to plus 5 and if I solve it, I will get 19 by 3 ohms. Okay, so this way we calculated Z22. Now to calculate Z12, Z12 is the ratio of V1 divided by V1 divided by I2. Now we need to find out the relation between V1 and I2. V1 is the voltage drop appearing across the port 1 terminals. Port 1 terminals. To find out this, we will apply KVL in this particular loop. Okay. So Z12 can be find out can be find out by applying KVL. Let us write down the KVL equation this in this particular loop. We will get V1 to be equal to 5 times of I1, uh, sorry, I2 plus I1 times of I5. Now this equation has V1 and I2. What we need? V1 and I2. But this also has I5. So we need to resolve this I5 in terms of I2 so that we can have only V1 and I2 to find out the value of Z12. Let us find out the relation between I5 and I2. I5 from the circuit we can see the I5 is the current formed after the division of I2 at this particular node. So we to calculate I5 we can apply current divider rule. I can write I5 equal to I2 times I2 times if we are finding out the current in this branch so we need to consider the resistance into the other parallel branch. The other parallel branch has 2 ohm resistance so we will multiply I2 with 2 divided by all the resistances which are connected in parallel. So in resistance, uh, resistance connected in parallel are 2 ohm plus 3 plus 1 ohm. Uh, this becomes 6, 2 by 6 and 2 by 6 can be written as I2 by 3. So we have I5 uh, to be equal to I2 by 3 and we can replace I5 in this equation and we will get V1 equal to 5 times of I2 plus I2 by 3. If I solve it, I will get 16 I2 by 3. Now from this equation, I can derive the relation between V1 and I2. V1 divided by I2 can be equal to now 16 by 3 and this is nothing but Z12. So this will be in ohms. So this is how we calculated Z12 here, Z22 here, Z21 here and and Z11 here which was 35 by 6. We, we calculated all these parameters using the physical conditions. Thank you.